Hi children, welcome to Chemistry Online Class. We are going through the chapter, chapter 15, Air Around Us. We have gone through the topic, composition of air and different activities. All we know that different species live under water. Many plants and organisms. They also respire using oxygen. They use dissolved oxygen in the water. Adaptation for breathing in water. Aquatic animals also need oxygen to live. They have to breathe in oxygen that is dissolved in water or from the air above the water using this structural adaptation. Gills, gill chamber, skin, air tube, air bubble, special nostrils, blowl. Next, an activity. Take some water in a glass or metal container. Heat it slowly. Then you can see tiny bubbles on inside before water begin to boil. These bubbles come from the air dissolved in water. That means water contains air. When we heat the water, to begin with, air dissolved in water escapes in the form of bubble. As you continue heating, the water itself turns into vapor and finally begin to boil. We learn in chapter 8 and 9, the animal living in water use dissolved oxygen in water. That means water contain oxygen or air. Next, activity 2. Its procedure Take a lump of dry soil in a beaker or a glass. Then add water to it. And note what happened. Then you can see that bubbles coming out from the soil. This bubble indicate the presence of air in the soil. That means soil contain Air. Air is present everywhere. In the atmosphere, water, soil. When the water is poured on the lump of soil, it displaces air. And that air coming in the form of bubbles. Same as in the case of water. When we heat the water, the air present in the water coming out of in the form of bubbles. Here, when we add water to soil, that water displays air, that air coming out in the form of bubbles. The organism that live inside the soil and the plant's root respire in this air. We know that Different kinds of organisms and plants grow under the soil. A lot of burrows and holes are formed in deep soil by animals living in the soil. These burrows also make space available for air to move in and out of the soil. 
and there is pair using that air however when it rain heavily water fill up all the space occupied by the air in the soil in this situation animals living in the soil have to come out for respiration that's why the earthworms come out of the soil only during heavy rain hop now all you got the reason for why the earthworms come out of the soil during rain rainy season water fill up all the space occupied by the air in the soil so they come out for breathing okay next we can discuss some um, objective questions first one air is a dash of gases air is a mixture of gases the envelope of air around the earth is called atmosphere the major content of air is nitrogen gas dash gas is essential for burning oxygen the gas used for photosynthesis carbon dioxide and the gas give out during photosynthesis oxygen earthworm breathe air present in soil fishes breathe oxygen present in water dash gas can extinguish fire carbon dioxide let me conclude today's session here we discussed water present in sorry air present in water and soil through two activities i have attached notes as well as test paper also provided a link so we will meet in the next session children take care thank you